All right, hello everyone. Hope everybody is having an incredible uh, Saturday so far. Uh, mine's been pretty good. A little bit, a little bit stressful trying to get a few things crossed off the list today, but it's all uh, going pretty well so far. Uh, before we get too far, well, first of all. You guys hear me and see me, I'm, I'm pretty sure everything's up and actually up this time, but considering I have issues, please just let me know that it's actually up and you guys uh, can see what's going on before I get too far. Uh, today, we're I got the uh, GM Sniper 2 high grade is what's up for grabs with the, the giveaway. This is your first time, I'll be drawing uh, randomly at several times throughout the night. I'll basically ask everyone to throw a number in in a certain range into the chat. And uh, and then I draw a random number. And uh, if you win, you win. And if not, then uh, we keep going throughout the evening. Uh, the goal, uh, just like last week, I'm trying to hit 100 concurrent viewers. I'm not really sure why, uh, other than that it sounds like a great uh, great goal to hit. If we happen to hit that tonight, then the uh, Master Grade GM Sniper 2 here will be uh, at least available. If you prefer the high grade, then we can uh, keep it the high grade. But, I mean, who doesn't love a Master Grade? I've heard this is a great Master Grade kit. I know I want to build one someday. Um, so, we've got two, two great prizes on tap. A good prize and a good uh, option for going above and beyond. Looks like we have, we're already at 26 right now. So that's cool, we're well on our way. Pop through the, I went, this is probably gonna be the first time I have to start like ignoring like every other message. I can't even scroll back and look through all those. There's so many messages, but welcome everybody. Welcome, especially if it's your first time. It should be fun. I plan on uh, trying to get this other leg done today, hopefully onto the weapons and shields and all that stuff too. We'll we'll see where we get, but getting there. Gumpel University, what's up Gumpel fam? Hey, what's up Jared? Steve Hummel, nice, I built the master grade. Cool, so you can say firsthand how it was. Hardy, yo yo, what's up my people? Where's all my Discord folks? Probably got a bunch of Discord members in the chat here. Nice little Discord coin here. I gotta get that out of the way at some point though. I'd love to give away the Master Grade today. Nick Berg, it's another great day to help Nick give away an, an MG. Games are Discord family. Pathological Q, I'm new to the hobby, currently working on the first on my first MG, the Barbatos. I've heard that's a great one too. Super popular kit. So if you want to help us get to that 100 concurrent viewers, which isn't super far away, we might hit it. We've gotten to the high 50s, low 60s, I think, last week. If you want to help out, just hitting that like button down below, I think will help YouTube show this to more people, which which would be great if you uh, happen to have a social media presence and want to share a screenshot or a, a link somewhere, that would, would help out too. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll get into building tonight. The uh, I guess the one other thing you'll probably notice, uh, maybe I'll actually get good at this time, Ooh, right here. So active until i think it's actually until 11 30. i should probably change the text on screen but 11 will be good too uh there's a code for 10 percent off your order uh it is also uh, we are doing a gr grads and dads sale this weekend uh, which is 15 percent off select items when you go on the website up at the top is a bar that uh has a little link and that link will bring you to the collection of what's on sale at 15% off some good kits in that collection too so while you're you're waiting while you're hanging out if you happen to be browsing those are some good things right there Jacob Temkins just subscribed thank you Jacob for the sub bunch of new subs today it's been a fun week actually released uh, videos I got a new video editor kind of onboard editing content for me. So we're putting a lot more on the website or on the YouTube channel now. 
Dylan Perry does the code stack with the sale. The the codes never stack by default. I think you have to do something special to get them to stack on the back end. And uh, and I just could not afford a stacking of codes. That would that would destroy me. I'd be giving away stuff practically. Depending on the order, I suppose. Search I figured out how I'll play tonight. Gonna play my coin number every time. There you go. Definitely some people doing that. Uh, already welcome Jacob. They're fun time. He's in. What's up? How's the wing, Nick? Good. It's a pretty good kit so far. I think the shoulders are the weak point, like all the other wing variations. Already MW subs have been going up all week. I've seen the family grow. Definitely had a bunch of subs this week. I think a big part of that is the uh, the new videos. So if you're, if you're new to the channel or haven't checked out any of that stuff before, I released two videos this week on uh, Tuesday. We put out a Q&A video, and on uh, Friday, the, I think the more exciting of the videos that I put out was a uh, video talking about the latest shipment we just got in. Kind of a little interesting story. We got, got uh, the biggest shipment we've ever received in late last week but a lot of the da uh, inventory was damaged, so it's only like a five minute video. If you, if you haven't yet, maybe after the stream or some other time, check that out. That video has been well received. Got some other stuff in queue for next week. Should be releasing probably like two videos a week, at least in the short term. And going from there, see what happens. I got one filmed already for, for this coming week. Packing some orders on screen, and, uh, and I think I'm going to record a video where I break break up those uh, boxes full of damaged kits. So if you don't like unlo unboxing videos, I would definitely keep an eye out for that next week. Let's see how all that goes. Michael Rogers, I usually, usually have issues with the wings and the wrists. Well, wing zero anyway. Yeah, any of the wing wing variations. Wing Gundam, Wing Zero, Proto Zero, all those kits always have shoulder issues because of the transforming gimmicks. I kind of wish that they didn't transform or if they had an optional part variation for a non-transforming shoulder because I have no intent to ever transform any of these kits. But I understand why some people want to. Pathologically cute. I don't know where I can find an HGIO frame sheet in for a fair price. I haven't seen any of those in a while. Michael Kelly did see that. That was heartbreaking to see the damage to that box. That was just one of many, unfortunately. I might actually uh, start breaking into those tonight after the stream. We'll see. See how things are going. How I'm doing. Justin Arcadio, I made it. Well, welcome, Justin. Glad you made it. So, with all that boilerplate stuff out of the way, what is everybody up to? Anyone got good uh, Father's Day weekend plans? Um, anybody building right now? What is everybody up to? The home of the wing shoals and the wing verka aren't too bad. I think they're probably all the same, so they're probably basically the same wing structure. Michael Rogers, actually, my Proto Zero never gave me any problems, though I'd never transform it. I actually have it set up next to my tall PCW. <laughs> Alrighty, alright, what's tonight's dessert? I actually grabbed a piece of cake before coming up here. My wife finished it, and since I was actually had a moment before the stream I, I grabbed a piece it was a like a cookies and cream themed cake Oreos on top and like a cookies and cream kind of frosting's probably the wrong term so if you're a foodie don't uh, don't hate on me in the middle it was a uh, it was good though Drew Cummins do you have a plan for some throne kits I don't know what you're talking about for throne late night <laughs> Remember Rotella, late night ding and dance? No, definitely not. Um, all the stuff that I'd be breaking up, I, I can't really do anything with until I get word back from the distributor and what they're gonna do. If they want the kits back, I have to send them back. 
I'm going to do whatever I can to get what I can in terms of recourse for the damage. So I'm hoping they'll just discount them heavily so I can sell them because it sounds easier than shipping them back in bulk, but we'll figure that out. Raymond, building while you are building. Awesome. What are you building, Raymond? Already slowly working on my grunt destruction contest entry. Awesome. Already looking forward to seeing that. Steve, building MG double riser. Michael got my stepdad a pressure washer for tomorrow. It's cool. I hate using my pressure washer. I'm like glad I have it, but I hate it at the same time. So I got a barbecue pit I'm building for tomorrow. Awesome. Andrew building an RG Zeta, sweet. James, the rest are destroying grunts. A lot of grunts are going to be destroying, destroyed over the last next few weeks, I think. Man, I'm like misspeaking like crazy. If you haven't seen that, it's a good time to mention it. The uh, grunt destruction contest we're running. There's uh, details up on the website for that too. There's a link, or if anyone wants to throw the link in the chat. Basically, we're challenging people to damage or destroy a uh, grunt mobile suit all the rules are on that page but we were giving away uh, $500 worth of gift cards to the site to the winners and I think it's gonna be be a fun little contest pathological crew pathologically cute just got a HG grip it's custom trying to collect most of the IVO HG love the grunt suits Michael working gotta love being a night security guard my wife brought me homemade chicken Alfredo nice a throne Dre's way, etc. I think he means. Okay, I'm not familiar with those suits because I haven't seen Double O. I should fix that. Someone will call me out on that, I'm sure. Tori actually did something different about two SD kits. Picked up a Love Phantom, got all the back for Harrow's. Had to support my local comic shop. Definitely support local when you can. Raymond, I'm building Deathside Tally W. That's a nice kit. Did one of those recently. Like, oh, I'll finish my RG Banshee, Last Things a Shield, Robert working Origin Zaka 2, Aaron, the build all evening tomorrow. Awesome. I'm probably not going to be doing much building this weekend. Already, come on, Nick, you know, pressure. Washing is the awesome after doing it fall and winter. Uh, most of my pressure washing has been done on my deck, and that, when you're trying to get a deck ready to be, like, stained, it's just, it's the worst. I would not be unhappy to never do that again. I'm pretty sure I'd rather just build a new deck than pressure wash it again. As weird as that probably sounds. Mish working on Shinmusha. Awesome. I can't wait to do mine. Ricky. Guess what I'm working on myself. My grunt stuff. Gotta love it. it. Sounds like a bunch of you guys are working on grunt destruction entries. That's really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing all those entries uh, in August. Naka got my clearance, Egok, awesome. Hope you could case showed up in the same condition I shipped it in, which is slightly damaged or whatever. Michael Rogers got PG, Astro Red Frame, Kai today. He's, I saw that you sent me some pictures of that, I think. Nice find. Ricky was himself my first Father's Day too. Awesome. I did not. I don't know. I've never thought of any of those kind of holidays like Father's Day is a big deal, but I think once you become a father, you realize how big a deal it kind of is. Maybe. Um. Yeah. Let's see what else. Congrats on the little one. Yep. Yeah. Definitely congrats. Having kids is like the best and worst thing that could happen to you at the same time. Highs are high, lows are lower. But I think the net's worth it. Uh, Victoria, the next kit I plan to get for you is the GM Cold Districts. So that's been a popular kit. Every time I pack an order with one, I want to build one. I've actually got the uh, P Bandai Master Grade of that same suit on my backlog too. That looks like a very cool GM variant. I would love to see one of those like battle damage sitting in the snow or something for the Crunt Destruction Contest. That'd be a really cool idea.
here, this is my first Father's Day with a, Father's Day with a boy. Awesome, congrats. Bunch of new fathers. Mecca Warehouse, live stream, Father's Day edition, I guess. Jacob, Temkins, in your opinion, what is the best Wing Series kit? Hmm. That's kind of a hard one. I'd say, like, it's kind of a toss up between Death Scythe, Heavy Arms, or Sandrock. I feel like all the wing variations have shoulder issues, and that kind of bugs me. But, uh, those three, they all have their own little quirks. I guess if it means anything, the only one that I'm going back to build again for sure, other than the P Bandai ones that go uh, live on Monday, the reprints are going to be uh, the heavy arms I'll probably build for a third time. So maybe it's the heavy arms. How's my fake? Happy I stumbled upon Mecha Warrior. I was getting back to building MG Easy 8. I started, but put off for a while. Cool. Welcome back to the uh, hobby or. Congrats on getting past your builder's block or whatever you want to call it. Michael, only grunts I have are HG Jesta Cannon and Ari Zaki at 2 FC. Those are both cool ones, though. Just so glad my kids are grown with their own kids. That's certainly easier. More sleep, probably. Pretty wise guy, Cold Mr. Jima is easy to custom paint. It's one of the cheapest kits. I've got about eight ready to build and destroy. Nice. Steve Hummel Epion. Searchlight said all my kids are furry. Nothing wrong with that. Games are heavy arms. Michael Roth. I guess Tall Geese is a really good kit, though, too. Solar Wound War. We should be until late July, however. That's the P Bandai. Joy. J Dog, what's up? I placed my first order for you today. Hawaii here. Thank you, J Dog. Welcome to the Mecha Warehouse family. Really appreciate you placing an order and putting your trust in us. We'll make sure we get that kid out to you in good shape and uh, as quickly as we can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a lot of packing ahead of me this weekend, I think. Jason Hall's the Ultron going live on Monday. Yeah, Monday, P Bandai USA has Ultron, uh, Heavy Arms Custom, Sandra Custom, and Tall Geese 3 Master Grades all uh, going live as reprints. If you've been following any of those P Bandai, you'll realize how expensive those kits are uh, to buy the ones that were printed like a decade ago or whatever it was. So if you're into any of those kits, this is a really good opportunity. I'm probably going to be like pulled over on the side of the road because Monday I'll be driving home from the dojo when they go live. So either I'll stay at the dojo or I'll be pulling over on some dark street at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Just buying those. Michael, actually, I have a second just a cannon. That's my honor my local police department to do what they can help our community. Cool. Got my RG Talkies 3 from there too. I got one of the, uh, no, I think it's the two. I got a RG Talkies 2 on order once P Bandai USA opened. I want to put it, build it up and uh, pose it with or do a diorama with some uh, Space Leos, I think. Which would be cool. Raymond, can't wait to get my paint in the MG Providence I ordered from you. I feel like I packed that order last night. Sounds familiar anyway. Jason Hall, 9 p.m. Eastern, right? I believe so. It's like 6 Pacific time, I think, is what it says, which would be 9 Eastern. So I'll be doing a ton of that. Mighty Wise Guy HG, Farju keeps his 13, cheapest on eBay is 148. Wow, that's a big differential. It's like we're at 44 people right now, so remember if we hit 100 concurrent viewers, we'll get that master grade for the giveaway instead of the high grade. So if you're watching and it's easy for you, if you hit that like button, it might help get some more people seeing the stream randomly on YouTube. 
which will help. And uh, if you happen to share this somewhere, that would be greatly appreciated. If not, no big deal. I don't expect anybody to. Which is the RG Tuggy suit going for? Andrew, I have no idea off the top of my head. It was pretty. Anything PBNDA USA is basically around normal retail price, or is normal retail price for the, the kit, which is something you can't say for a lot of kits that are PBNDA. Okay, let's snap this together. Already 44, it's not even 9 p.m. yet. That's awesome. That's true. We're definitely way ahead of where we were last time, right? Of course, I didn't screw up like I did last time, which probably helps. Apparently, if you make some sort of mistake that prevents the stream from actually starting, even though you think it started, it takes you uh, 10 minutes or whatever to discover that. But that will impact how long it takes for the stream to really get up to speed. Ricky Keeper is always going to share when I can. I'm trying to get more of my friends into a Gunpla. It's definitely, you don't necessarily think of it that way at first blush if you, if you haven't been in it. But Gunpla is definitely a good hobby to share with people. People that bounce ideas off of. That's why the Discord's great, because people that don't have their own local communities can basically come into to our uh, online community and uh, and uh, meet like-minded people and get advice, share ideas, and all that good stuff. If you get that RG Talkies too on USA P Bandai, it'll be the cheapest possible price. Because everybody else is basically buying it from the same place and marking it up. Feeling very got to get to work on this MG Dissite Hell so I can order some of those beautiful Delphi decals. True that, true that. If anybody's not aware, we had Delphi decals uh, like a week and a half, two weeks ago. We got a restock in uh, that went live on Friday. So if you were trying to order Delphi decals last time, and saw that we were out. We have almost all of our Delphi decals that we have been carrying in stock and the other accessories and parts that they sell that we have. I love the cute. It's funny. I picked up the Gumpel Hobby a couple weeks ago while on furlough, just when I started to really get invested in it. Work brings me back. Glad I have a job again, at least. Well, the good news is you'll have the, the money to to actually spend on the hobby if you're you're back at work definitely a lot of people kind of came back into or started the hobby I think while they were off of work but at some point you kind of get limited by your resources so I think it's good that people are starting to get get back to work and stuff Josh what sandpaper grits you're using so I've got uh, four that I use uh, fine is 320 to 400 super fine 500 to 600 ultra fine is 800 to a thousand and micro fine is 1200 to 1500 so um, those are the four levels that I typically use and these are the basically the 3m sanding sponges I've heard some of the uh, there's a couple other manufacturers that make sanding sponges that are supposed to be better quality. Some people swear by them, but I haven't used any of those, and these ones work fine for me, and I think they're a little bit cheaper. But One of these days I have to try the other ones. Josh, no problem, Josh. Always happy to help.
I'm hoping to do some more like tutorial videos and stuff too now that I got someone who could edit them for me. I don't have to do all my uh, editing myself because I'm not, not a very good video editor. It'd take me a long time and I wouldn't get anywhere near as good a result as what I'm getting with uh, a new editor hand. She's doing a great job. So hopefully in the next month or so I might do some tutorials for some of the things that I get questions about all the time. Basic panel lining, nub removal, all that good stuff. Pretty wise guy, I work from home, I usually do piece uh, to Couple of she kits and I'm asking during the week. While my code compiles or boring meetings, then I'll pick an NG and paint for the weekend. Got to uh, love the code compiler excuse. I don't know if you follow uh, XKCD, the, the best XKCD cartoon that I remember. Stands out to me is the two dudes having the moving sword fight on the rolling chairs and they get called out by their boss or something and the response is, it's okay, my code's compiling. I've definitely been there. I would not be unhappy if I don't have to wait for code to compile in the future though. Justin, please do some tutorials. I want to be a better builder. I can do what I can, I am not not a top tier builder for sure, but I can certainly help a little bit. I'm getting, getting uh, beginners up to kind of that jog speed. I think can only help. Aaron, I'm definitely gonna hit you up on Discord for exactly which ones you use. Sure thing, man. Uncle Rogers about for a tutorial on applying different decals. That I could definitely do. I've, Grown to be fond of doing water slides, so that would be a good one. I think, I'm thinking about if I do finish this, my next uh, live stream or two might be some decal apps on a on a kit that I finished a few weeks back. Maybe take the master grade hell that I assembled relatively recently, like last month, that needs decals, and maybe do the decals on stream for the next week or two. We'll see. Why do wise guy have got that post in my cubicle? Now you know you're you know you're a coder when you when you're up on that stuff. Jason, I sit in telecoms most of the day, so I've got about eight models done over the past couple of months. Man, aren't aren't they the worst? In some ways, I'm kind of happy because the clients I've done work for, they're, they're no longer, or at least for a while, I think they might be going back to in-person meetings, but they stopped doing, they started trying to eliminate meetings because of the virus threat, and I think their productivity went up. I don't know if they'll admit that, but some companies, they like to spend so much time in meetings. Why is guy now waiting for CICD to deploy and pass unit tests? Oh, geez. Rogers, yeah, I could tell the decals for the Burka I knew to do. Water slides are definitely a little scary until you've gotten the hang of them, and they're not too bad. The worst, though, is when you screw up the decal you really want, and you have to either scrap it or buy a whole other sheet just for that one decal because there's no spares. Every once in a while, I think that happens to me and bugs me. so much time on these frame parts I'm not painting the frame I wish I was good at weathering I've started and want advice on what's a good kit to attempt with a second easy HG or MG 
That definitely would be a kit that would make a lot of sense to have weathering done on it. I'd recommend the high grade just because it's cheaper, so if you screw it up, you don't feel bad about it. I think uh, Justinius Builds, who's one of our sponsored builders, has a tutorial on weathering and battle damage coming out soon. He was working on one to kind of go up in conjunction with the uh, Grunt Destruction Contest we're running. So I should turn that audio off. All right, some of the frame like here. I feel like this kit skipped leg day. Got the tiniest calves I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, anyway, Jolly Roger, hello everyone. Okay, so this is a good time. We're with like 30 minutes in. Let's do the first draw. So let's everybody throw a number in the chat between, let's say, let's start with one and 300. So everyone throw a number between one and 300. Only once, please. Don't put a second number if you see someone else do that same number already. We'll sort that out when we get to the end. But I'll give you guys a few minutes to throw that number in. I'll draw one at random. And if your number gets picked, then you win a the high grade. See, I'm also working in a frame, panel on in it, first weather attempt, MG Goof Custom, it turned out okay. I mean, it's hard to make them look completely horrible. If you do, if you're even remotely careful, you should be able to salvage it if something goes wrong. Cute. To be honest, I'm not too fond of the typical kind of look. I'm fond of the grunt like suits and the unique, strange designs. Okay, I'm going to trim a few of these and give you guys another moment or so. Doing pretty good. Oh, it looks like we just hit 50. That's kind of exciting. And if someone does happen to win on this first draw, uh, I'll probably end up throwing up some other prize. And uh, you would still have the chance to get the master grade version if we happen to uh, hit 100 concurrent viewers later in the stream, just so everybody's aware. So I'm going to throw a time in the chat so that we know. I need a calculator. <laughs> the calculator app. I need a random number generator. Uh, between one and I said 300. So the number is 82. We have any 82s? Jeez, you got a lot of numbers in there. But no 82s. 
Okay, well, we'll keep going then. We'll draw again uh, a little bit later. And <laughs> stupid temperature. See, kids are like the worst, right? Worst is if anything ever happens to your kids. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to, like, I still got, like, PTSD from last December when my, my son burned his hands. That was the worst. We are doing good. We got... Excuse me, we're at 50, 51. <laughs> Michael Rogers, okay, be honest, who has gun music playing in the background? Uh, Someone needs to release like an album or a series of uh, like Gundam death metal covers or something. Kuma, oh hey, I burned my hands when I was one. Yeah, that was the worst, man. He uh, was actually during my my Maganac live stream when I was streaming on Twitch. I was doing the entire Maganac core, and I got a call from my wife. It's like, so yeah, our son burned his hands. I think we're going to the ER. I was like, oh shit. Shit, this isn't good. And he basically put both his palms on the glass front of a uh, pro, like a propane or gas fireplace. Third degree burns on both his palms. You know, all the skin basically lifted right off, and it was gross. We went to Shriners Children's Hospital like every other day, basically for months, for dressing changes and checkups and stuff. The, the good news is he healed very well. I think he still still has a little bit of time uh, where the, the scarring could get worse in theory, but then it should all go away. He seems to have full function. He doesn't really notice, but because it was on his palms, they, uh, they uh, healed pretty well because he's so young. He was just barely one when it happened. Roger burned myself as a kid by touching the hot stove because I was curious. Curious to kill the cat. Yeah, man. Come on, same. I was trying to stand up and the oven door was open. Yeah. So that was a was a rough day. Got lucky it happened when it happened though. I don't know, Jason. Jason said third degree burns are the worst, but aren't they technically better than second degree? I'm not sure about that. All I know is that it was kind of gross. Thankfully, he healed, didn't get any bad infection or anything. It didn't like cause his hands to heal all weird so they couldn't move or anything like that. You can still kind of tell if you look at his palms carefully, but for the most part, it's pretty hard to tell that he even burned them, so. He was just lucky it was on his palms, so the thin's relatively thick, and uh, and he's uh, young and resilient, able to heal fast. But I'm, I'm glad it happened now and not like, or happened then and not now, because <clears throat> I could only imagine going to the hospital every other day with the whole coronavirus thing out there. Thankfully, we're basically done with all of our visits before that stuff started, so. Search I said, I think I'd take family for food, have a great stream if possible, put me 53 in future drawings. If not, good luck to whoever wins. Yeah, you gotta be here, unfortunately. Yep, she put went in the hot water of my whole body when I was around one. Luckily, there's a scar left only on my shoulder. That sucks, man. Well, glad it healed well, though. I think there's technically a fourth degree, too, which is even worse, but. Steve, my mom spilled boiling water on my knee when I was little. I still have a scar and I'm almost 50. 
fashion of no sector creep will not cause scarring it only causes blisters in most cases yeah I think it's like all the, the level of depth is basically what distinguishes but in retrospect the whole thing worked out so not too bad I think uh, I think I'll probably do another charity live stream towards the end of the year again and uh, I think Shriners Children's Hospital is going to be the, the benefactor for that based on that whole experience with them and the fact that they basically didn't charge us so I can only imagine what that would have cost to have all these experts in the room So question, where does the gun of local type, North American type, come from? The black one with the red visor over the eyes. I found it at AWA last September. i never seen it before. I think that's from... It's either from one of the mobile suit variations things, or it's uh, from Origins or something, right? Yeah, not from GTO Manga, I think. I probably should go look through that. I got that for Christmas, but... True to my usual form, I've been too busy to actually look at it. <clears throat> Pretty wise guy Gordon Emanuel at Rome's in Nevada desert. Like on its own, does it graze? Does it, uh... Does it hunt for, for wild Zaku or something? B A N H B. What do we have from B? Sixteen to sixteen, sixteen. All right. Top of the foot. For a serve second is subdermal, third is tissue, fourth is muscle bone. Sounds sounds about right. I will I will never uh, I'd be happy if I never had to go through anything remotely like that ever again. That was traumatic. Actually, what would you say is the best HG line for kit bashing purposes? Um, for purely kit bashing purposes, I think I mean the Build Divers kits are practically built for kit bashing. That's the whole like theme of the show, and I think a lot of the IBO kits are are kind of built to be consistent enough for kit bashing. Five minutes in and a 50. I want to say it took a lot longer last time to hit up these kind of numbers, so maybe we are on our way.
Let's try every minute. I wish I had kit badge, but a lot of the kits I build are from different series and years, so the parts don't really work for a custom, at least for me. I think any parts will work. The, just the level of detail you or not detail, but the uh, the amount of effort you want to put in is all that decides that. It's nice and easy when you just got to slide parts together and switch out parts when you got to drill things out or reshape, resize things. That's when it gets to be tough. So you guys, I had to get a new card activated yesterday. I went to purchase P-Band at Crossbone 6-2 when I got off work and it was sold out. Second time it's happened to me. That's a bummer, man. If it's sold out quick, maybe they'll do another, another round of prints on it. two to three weeks away from the 100 viewers every time the number of viewers seems to go up by 15 or so that's probably true <laughs> our uh, isaac we are not asking for numbers yet just so you know we don't jump the gun here you're probably right Artie. things have definitely been growing slowly looks like we're up to 27 likes that's cool but that is disappointing. There are 52 people watching, and only uh, slightly under, slightly over half of you have uh, have liked this stream. So, pretty easy to hit that like button. I have to say, come on, my number is 9,000. It only counts if it's over 9,000. answer oh, good times good times all right let's see a couple more parts left for this foot I'm just getting better at ignoring you guys so I can actually get stuff done on this or if I'm just having a lucky streak or if it's all perception oh you're out if I'm gonna post the link another gumbo chat I'm in that's cool man I can't find the button on phone for live streams. That could be true. I'm just going to guilt you guys occasionally, but that's all good. We're the 35 likes, so I got hold on eight of your heartstrings. So the Roger, I don't know about YouTube's chat system, but it'd be possible for you to set up a bot that randomly decides a winner. Probably. I imagine that there's a way to do that. This is about how much effort it takes to get that set up. I probably probably could write a bot to do it, to be honest. It would be the way to do it. I'd still want people to throw numbers in the chat though, because I think that's the uh, that's the way to go. Because it forces you guys to be active and not just all idling in here. Some people are into being ignored. Weird kink. Oh, look, we're up to 39, so I got 12 of you guys to do it. That's cool. Let's see if that helps. I think last time, I mean, I guess this is a good question. Is anybody here right now that either today stumbled into this stream that had no idea what was going on because they just were recommended it by YouTube somehow? Open uh, Max. Subscribe. Thank you, Max. 
or if you have anybody here that maybe stumbled onto one of these streams randomly based on a recommendation from YouTube over the last couple of weeks, really curious to see. I know a bunch of you guys are coming because of the email or from Discord. But uh, be interested to see if anybody's finding it randomly from here. But Taz 101, my roommate had an order from you and he told me about it. Well, thank you to Rataz's roommate. Thank you for passing that info along. Josh, so I saw it on Facebook. Cool. Steve, you may actually have to stop building and pay attention. Yeah, exactly. He's got to listen. Victoria, I teach my seven year old kiddo the love of building gunplay. She's building a Haro Control Blue. Awesome. I had my uh, six year old like a month and a half ago, two months ago, built a, uh, one of the Haro balls. He does a ton of Legos with me and stuff. I need to get back on that. Make some more time for that. Spend some time with him. Forty-three likes. Nice. Aaron, my toddler really liked the Hello Kitty. Nice. Andrea's been doing yard work while I listen. Wow, that is dedication. You must be on the West Coast then, because it is way too late over here to be doing yard work. It's definitely dark outside now. <laughs> Joe Roger, you know what to think about it. Gunners are a pretty horrific show for kids. True that. We were talking about dropping colonies on Earth. As a fact, he's the one that ordered the damage box from your Discord. He asked me if I wanted it, and I said, hell yes. Nice. That doesn't really narrow it down, though. We do those, those Discord damaged kit drawings pretty frequently lots of winners on there but Tori and Champagne surely wants a bear guy nice those are cute little kits Andrew Cummins I stumbled into it as a recommendation on YouTube I've ordered from you for a few months I think it wanted me to join him right after I finally joined the discord interesting weird timing there I wonder if that's just serendipity at play or Jason Hall, it's never too dark if your lawnmower's headlights. There you go, that'd be pretty badass. Screw screw headlights. Has anyone ever mowed their lawnmower in night vision? That would be the the ultimate in uh, lawn mowing. Right there. If I had some, I'd try it maybe. If anyone wants to cough up to buy me a PVS 14, I'd be in to try that. <laughs> Already too late for yard work, but just the right time for all my neighbors are shooting my fireworks. Gotta love that, right? That's the worst when you got kids too. When your neighbors decide to fire off fireworks. It's like it's nine o'clock, my kid's sleeping. Finally got him to sleep. Please just let him sleep. <laughs> gotta bring the flag in, don't pick numbers for a bit. Robert shows I got a bear guy F a while back and customized it with a handmade diorama as a Mother's Day gift last month. Nice. <laughs> Jack, don't remind me. I have some crazy neighbor once that started mowing at like 5.30 a.m. Jeez. No respect. That is way too early. something I really want to make is using the head, chest, arms, and back of the Blitz Gundam and the legs and weapons of the Astray 
green frame painted mostly maroon with bits of black navy blue interesting Jason Hall I don't have to worry about fireworks thankfully they're quite legal in my state they are quite legal here in New Hampshire in fact I think everybody comes from neighboring states where they might be illegal to buy them here <clears throat> I don't think you can buy fireworks in Massachusetts. That doesn't stop people from coming up here and buying them from Massachusetts, I think. I, on the other hand, want to keep all my fingers so I don't play the fireworks. Lucky Kibble's our neighbor. <clears throat> Neighbors down the street to Fireworks every other weekend for no reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think allergies have been bad lately. My voice has been messed up. <clears throat> Excuse me. My nose has been worse. Just, I don't know what's going on with that. It scares the crap out of my dog. Yeah, that sucks. Michael Rogers, Fire Kit Bash. Should be a bash of the Strike, Galaxy Cosmos, and Transient Gundam. Maybe we're jacking through the next weekend. Stop because someone stole his mower. I would probably consider stealing someone's mower if they were mowing at 5.30 in the morning all the time. Um, so, pretty good point. Let's uh, let's do another draw. Let's do between 1 and 290. So throw a number between 1 and 290 in the chat. In a few minutes, I will draw again, and we'll see see if we have a winner to give away the high grade. We're 53 watching, so we're we're going up a tiny bit. To 44 likes, that's awesome. I already did, yep, all the people you get them from uh, who get them from New Hampshire, yep. Uh, New England for you. Built the 100 gun of Maxter. I have not. And there goes the chat, just scrolling by. here forty thirty oh let's do that first thirty one and thirty So making some progress when runners are coming off the board here. E18. the notifications on my phone this is gonna be scary when this is over oh someone plus placed an order I guess that reminds me that there's uh, two codes that you want to consider right now we got live 10 that's up here on the screen right right up there 10% off uh, but there's also select items are on sale for 15% off with the grads and dads 15 code the info for that's at the top of the website at mechawarehouse.com um, that codes good through tomorrow evening end of the day tomorrow and the uh, live 10 is just good basically for the length of the stream okay oh i drew the number five i'm pretty sure i see the number five or saw it so we have a number five right there so john abasto is there anybody else i think that was the only number five i saw Five, 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 five. And the pipe, five, five, five. John Abasto. So we have a winner. So 
that high grade is yours. If we get the numbers up to 100, you'll get the uh, the master grade instead. Uh, but don't don't uh, run away. We'll draw something. I'll have to decide what we're drawing for over the next 20, 30 minutes or so. Whether it's another kit um, or if it is something else, we'll see. We'll keep that that kind of going. Um, Michael asks, do both codes count? And you can't run both at the same time, so you got to pick one or the other. So there might be some finagling to figure out which code makes the most sense based on what's in your cart. You might want to try them both. Michael Rogers from seems I have a 15 second delay between the live chat and the stream. There definitely is a pretty good delay in there. Jason Good suggests subscribe. Thank you, Jason, for the sub. So we'll find something. I think I got a few high grades that I got a ton of. So maybe I'll pick one of those. We'll see. Reaction bases. I give away action bases all day. I have more action base two grades than I ever could possibly need, I think. So thank you, John. I think you know the deal. I've seen you in a bunch of these streams. But you can send me a, a message uh, afterwards and we'll get that, uh, that kit out to you. Or if we happen to hit more... Uh, more viewers between now and the end, then you'll get a chance at that master grade instead. <laughs> Here's my wife texting me, asking if I'm all good on the cake. Yeah, I don't think I need any more cake tonight. Well, I probably do, but I really don't think I should. Looks like I gotta start increasing that number range. Jolly Roger, does anyone, Jolly Roger, does anyone know where we can find a white based model kit anymore by any chance? I haven't seen any recently. But they're probably out there somewhere. I doubt those are printed super frequently though. Ice cream. I don't actually. Is there ice cream? That's a really good idea. I might do it after the stream. I don't know. We'll see. If I get hungry, I'll bug my wife on it. So she's advertising. Got that right. Although she won't let me uh, drop her Instagram username yet. She's still like trying to figure out how all that works. She hasn't really been doing much social media. So she wants to like get the hang of it before she suddenly has an audience. I have a feeling between all you guys on these streams and stuff and my email list and Instagram and Facebook and stuff, I'd get her, her page up there pretty, pretty well followed pretty quick, I think, with the stuff that we're looking at having for doing for pictures. Cheesecake fan, I got strawberry and pretzel crust when you like. Pretzel crust sounds interesting. My wife loves cheesecake. I can take it or leave it. Depends on the cheesecake, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Michael, did they make a model kit for the Archangel of the Ptolem Ptolemaios? Oh, I 
I just screwed that pronunciation up. Isn't there a Patelnius Arms kit or something? Like a Build Fighters kit? I don't know if it's based on that. Too bad I've already got the Shin Motion Easy 8. Two kits I like the most in the Graz and Dad sale. Those are two that are on my backlog. I can't wait to build. Master Grade Barbatos is on that list, though, if you're looking for one of those. It's a good kit. Got some good stuff on there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got you on my TV and you scared the heck out of me. I'm sorry. Is that where the why the mic bar has the little uh, thing holding over on the red part? That's probably really loud. My wife freaks out when I sneeze. That was a relatively mild one, I think. It's those allergies, dude, they're just not good, but I'm sorry that <laughs> I freaked you out. <laughs> Actually, kind of. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Scare my dog laying in the room. Maybe that's all the the YouTube video editor I have. I'll have her just cut just that clip and we'll put that run that as a Facebook ad. That'll get everybody's attention, right? A good, good solid sneeze like that. You just heard me sneeze. Now listen about Mecha Warehouse. Be a great ad. When I sneeze, my daughter asked me if I'm okay. <laughs> it scared my kid. <laughs> he started drinking it was good after a sneeze. <laughs> Gunpla. There you go. Do you know what's better than sneezing? Model kits of large robots. That'll be the next big hit after the uh, coronavirus classic there that I ran. See another order. I almost want to bring up a window and see what. Some water. I've got a decent number of orders in the last hour or so. How do I feel that I'm fixing up my HG Mario size weapons right now? Lucky Kibbles, can anyone recommend me a fun MG to try? I've only built one so far. Let's see. A lot of the GMs are cool. Um, I'm a fan of the, the a lot of these wing master grades as well. But to me, I think the first one I'm going to paint for a master grade for a step up from. Uh, from painting high grades will probably be a uh, GM variant of some sort or a Jesta or something. Some sort of grunt that makes me feel like I can take the liberty to come up with a completely new grunty paint scheme for it. So I need a bunch of B, B parts. Faith where big robot movies where it's at. Is that a movie called Big Robot? Am I missing something? 
pop, pop culture might be eluding me at the moment. 40, 37, and 17. Speaking of movies, feeling movie night tonight. Before the stream, watched Coco, that Pixar movie, with the family. Halfway decent Pixar movie. another kid to my order next week. I'm going to have to get another Buster. Nothing wrong with the one I have. I just want another one. I can feel you on that one. If we have any left at that point. Fuck the HK DK new gun. I'm afraid to put stickers on. Kills it just the sounds neat. I heard that's a good kit. Mr. J on Victoria doesn't like grunts. She said they're not, it's not spectacular enough, but that's what makes them so cool. They're rank and file soldiers down the trenches winning the war, you know? That's that's how I feel. I feel like they give you the most leeway to do whatever you want with them, because when you take a hero suit and you repaint it, you're kind of breaking from canon. But if you repaint a grunt, you could totally see a grunt having some weird color scheme. Andrew Collins wasn't the old saying. Something like a sneeze is one-eighth of an orgasm, and... I'd say something like a sneeze when I hit an orgasm, but my kits are better. That that might cross a line. I don't know. Uh, Mikey, did you manage to get a warehouse yet? No, man. That's the uh, real estate guy keeps canceling meetings on me, and, I, and I'm starting to realize that it might not make sense yet again. Unfortunately. I've been hoping that the real estate market would soften with the whole COVID thing and that I could get a warehouse for a really, get, get, you know, really low rent somewhere or something for a usable space, but I don't think the market's that soft yet. Coco, we watch it almost every day. My kids love it. Nice. Nike, I want to get seven of the Master Grip Barbatos. I have enough for you to order seven of them and not to make a problem for me. And they're on sale at 15% off, so it's a good time to do it if you're going to buy seven of them. Steve Hummel, if you want to paint grunts, do the two ball twin set. I painted two sets and made blue balls and brass balls. <laughs> there you go. Or you should do, like, uh, somebody on the Discord a while back... Uh, Built a set of balls with his fiance. Starting off that uh, marriage on the right foot, I guess. Cody, rather Cody. Coco got me the feels. I want the doc from the movie though. He looks super awesome in real life. There you go. Yeah, it was definitely. Uh... Mm, feels is the right word, I think. Definitely a little bit of a tearjerker of a movie, if you will. If you're prone to crying in movies, it's one of those movies, I think. Jelly Roger the Grays reminds me of an updated Leo. Leo's a great kid. I've never built the Grays, though. That could wear, so you're trying to tempt me to buy seven from you. I mean, of course. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Oh, we went down to 45. We are drawing again. We'll draw for some other sort of prize. Just in case anybody's thinking like, oh, the, the big one's off the table. Maybe I really should be drawing numbers using my calculator. Then I can just make sure no one wins until the last draw. Soldier, yo, what's up, Kira Soldier?
you should just put everyone's name to run pick or thing and let it pick someone easy that way see it's good but i want there to be a chance that nobody wins that way the it just continues on and more importantly i need everybody to throw their name in each time because i don't want somebody just idly just hanging out in here not that you're not welcome to do that but i want people to be at least listening So I think the way we're doing that encourages that. I'm sure a bot could pick up those numbers for me or something. Try to explode with the love phantom is today basically just death size but gay <laughs> nothing wrong with that though that, that might be pretty close at least if you think of if you think of death scythe like the uh the goth industrial whatever kid in school that used to dress up like that then uh the love phantom is like the person that does that but then bedazzles all their stuff what how about including people over in the random list of the chat at least somewhat regularly during the stream problem is that then it gets complicated to just throw people's names in a thing so that's the, the cheap and dirty doing it this way works and uh at some point i'll look into a <clears throat> better solution <clears throat> But then again, at some point, I might have somebody, somebody handling all sorts of other stuff for me, too. Cheek kind of what's your favorite least favorite mobile suit design? I don't know. Did I say anything about G Gundam? I don't know what I dislike. Hmm. To think about that one. <clears throat> I think Paul Paul just asked, got any master grade, Charizaku 2 coming. I think I should have some coming in maybe next week. Nike, is there any cake today? I had cake before the stream started today. If I get hungry, I might see if I can get some more. We'll see. If you're speaking of G Gundam, we need a tequila gun. Um, uh, <laughs> Cody, all I'm thinking one night here. Love fans, was the fans of the opera singing. And my wife kind of was like, what the hell, when she saw the, uh, the Love Phantom on the shelf? not killer nick you gotta get that warehouse i do but i i don't think i can afford it right now i think all my profit would go to paying rent lucky kibbles just said like another max hg and another devil gun another print reprint is so inflated Chuck Roger, she got us full of stereotypes. It was glorious. <laughs> Thank you. Hathaway's flash is delayed. Did you hear? I hadn't heard. That's interesting news. When was it supposed to come out? A lot of media stuff is like postponed at this point. And how the person I picked up to do the video editing. 
normally works in like the TV movie industry or something. And I think the fact that they're all shut down is part of why she has time to do stuff for me right now. Jan want to pay an absolutely foolish amount of money for an HG Tequila Gundam or Tequila Gundam Daniel Custom from Bill Tigers. Did they ever make a kit for that one? Killer Nick, can you get an assistant? Well, my wife's starting to do some administrative stuff for me in addition to helping with receiving orders and stuff for me. Andrew Cummins of Hathaway is delayed. I assume that also makes it even longer wait for the third part of Thunderbolt. Probably. I imagine doing production is hard when you can't have people super close to each other. Roger, I've been waiting for Thunderbolt for ages, it seems. Absolutely love the custom echoes they had. For Thunderbolt, the flat is pretty dismal, in my opinion. Which flat are you talking about? I feel like I missed something. Okay, what's going on here? So this goes... Okay, on to upper leg and calf. Like, you think we'll get Glory of Losers animated? I have no idea. I am so out of touch with the animation cycles right now and what they're making and why. First part of all. Okay, back to all B parts this time. 25, hero figure too. I really want to start painting those little figures sometime. I need to figure out what's involved to paint somebody that small. Like how, how do you paint that? It's not going to actually get in focus. Oh, flat from turn A. I'm not familiar with turn A either. I need to. I need to watch more gun. More uh, Gundam, I guess. 
straight out of Crossbone Desert and Anime, but the kit sells so well without having one, so Bandai probably doesn't care. Lucky Kibbles, Nick, what's your thoughts on resin kits? I haven't built any myself, uh, resin kit wise. Some of those conversion kits and kits look amazing though, the level of detail and stuff, so I'm all for them. We'll probably start carrying them at some point, but I feel like they're a little bit more niche than most of the other kits and tools at this point. A lot of people are not willing to touch them, so they're a lower priority compared to kits that I can buy in bulk and sell a lot of. As I think now is a good time as any to start that MG Z 2.0. Those Z 2.0 frames are those are good kits. Faith Warrior F91 Desert of Full Anime. Dracon Set Master Series. Snaky paint up like how Warhammer fans paint figures, magnifying lens. I'd believe that kinda, but I did uh Warhammer figures, I didn't need a lens, and a Warhammer figure is so much larger than that. That's like painting the old Warhammer 40k epic game figures. They're really tiny. I feel like those tiny brushes are just too big. So up to 51 according to YouTube. Is that accurate or is the streaming software accurate? Streaming software says 55. Which one's ahead of the other? <laughs> I thought it was really cute, by the way. Anyone have any tips for preventing stickers from coming off? Yeah, don't use stickers. You could use uh, decals, will stay on better. Like you could always use an electron microscope. I'm not worried about seeing it so much. No, it looks like YouTube is actually up to date sooner in terms of viewer counts. I'm more worried about how to get the, the paint on there. I was thinking like the tip of a toothpick or something. You kicked my dog, just subscribe. Thank you, you kicked my dog. I don't think I did, but then again, who knows? Maybe I did kick your dog. Decent chance he might actually <clears throat> finish the snap build tonight. <laughs> no point text for you, stickers don't. Yeah, it's basically stickers suck. Like, stickers are there for people that don't want to go make their kits look really good. You know, just like some people just snap build, and that's fine. Some people snap build and take it to a higher level of detail with like decals and stuff, but but water slides just they're or not water slides, stickers in my mind are harder to get on there in the first place in the right spot, and they're prone to flaking off at some point. I mean clear coat might help. Clear coat definitely helps with decals. I just don't know how much it helps with uh The stickers. I 
Wasteland Mecca. What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's having a great night. Hey, Sean, what's going up? Welcome. See you attempt to build the wings. I built the wings on this guy uh, last week. They weren't too bad, actually. After this leg, I got a couple of side skirts to do, and then uh, the buster rifle and shield, I think, are all that's really left at that point. Hopefully are relatively quick and painless. So the Roger apps I draw the wings, but they remind me of strong with the unicorn's removable plating. Which unicorn variant? I think the variant of that depends a lot. Or heavily influences how bad it is. Talc Sharpies or Dice Shortcut Fries too. A lot of people are fans of those Melt Talc Sharpies. I haven't tried that myself. <laughs> Try Roger if we keep distracting it, we'll be able to get more streams. Oh, I'll give away, I'll be doing streams regardless of how fast I get this done. This will probably be a weekly feature for a while. I'm actually contemplating doing order packing streams and some other, other streams as well. At some point. Bird, okay, Nick, bird, it's the word from Discord. Really like the kit minus the fact it can't hold the Buster Rifle. I'm interested to see how that plays out. People keep telling me it won't hold the Buster Rifle, but I wonder if there's a trick I could figure out. Uh, that course, you have the RG RX0 Unicorn Gun of Perfectibility. No, I don't. Isn't the Perfectibility like a limited kit? Isn't that like a Gundam base kit or something? Or P Bandai or something? Quite left. Sorry, I meant to say also Liquid Chrome is just awesome. I've heard good things about that. Nike, have you considered doing Gleam giveaways? What is Gleam? What's a Gleam giveaway? I've never heard of that before. base exclusive that's what I thought so no I don't have them I'm sure I could get somebody to get them and send them to me so I could sell them marked up but I'm trying to stay out of the marked up kit game I really just sell people stuff at a good price there's plenty of, of other options on side seven for those kind of limited and exclusives
to explain what that gleam giveaway is, uh, Nike. I'm really curious what you were talking about. Giveaway some I think a lot of people do to manage giveaways of sorts. Okay. Like a tool or something that people use. Those are backwards. There we go. Got a left leg. He kicked my dog while he made HG kits and some old no grade 100 wing gun models. Would MG be too big a jump if I haven't made anything for like 10 years? Probably not. You kick my dog. I think you'd be fine. I mean, some people go straight to master grade and they, they do okay. The fact that you've built stuff before means you're, you're probably fine. All right, legs are done. We'll do side skirts next. He has legs. Let's do side skirts and then get the, put the torso on. In the meantime, let's uh, let's do another draw. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll give away or we'll draw for an RX 78-2 Revive high grade, uh, the model 191 uh, from the HGUC line. It's another great kit. I've got a ton of those in stock, so I don't have to worry about checking for inventory for that. So we're gonna. Bump the number back up, the range that we draw within. <laughs> Change dresser two leg lamps. Exactly. I wonder if anyone's ever tried building a leg lamp Gundam style. If not, somebody should maybe take a uh, Nobel Gundam leg and uh, stick a lampshade on it. So anyway, let's draw a number between 1 and 350. Since this is a secondary drawing for tonight. Got 52 watching, that's pretty cool. We're still doing pretty good in numbers. I don't think we hit our peak from last time yet, but we still got time. So throw a number between one and 350 in the chat, and in a moment or two, I will draw a number and uh, see if anybody won. Okay, A and D. Let's cut these parts out while everybody is throwing their numbers in the chat. Yes, it is. 
<laughs> already coming, Nick. Just pick my number already. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Don't start with me about tired, dude. I was up to like two last night, packing orders and doing stuff. Had to get up at like eight. And I think I woke up before that so I could go teach class this morning. And it was freaking hot outside today. I don't know where everybody's at, where you guys are, but... But it was... It is hot here in New Hampshire right now. I saw some other good messages in here. Mikey, do you remember Kerpal? I do not. <laughs> Nick is having too much fun with you, kick my dog's name. Basta or Mega Size. Dude, how does right blistering here in CT? Out here too in North New Jersey. I almost thought I heard thunder earlier, but I don't think I did. I would really welcome a thunderstorm, cool things off. Okay, I was like, time, let's draw between one and 350. Two hundred sixty three, two hundred sixty three. Two sixty threes in chat here. I don't believe I see any, so it looks like we'll draw again in, in a little bit. Michael Callan, visit Georgia. We make Satan sweat down here. Yeah, it's definitely hot down there. We we were actually not, was it a couple years ago, two years ago? We went on vacation before my youngest was born down, down to Orlando. We made the mistake of doing it around July 4th because I was trying to avoid closing the dojo for a period that would be busy during the summer. If you would believe that. And so we uh, went down around July 4th, and man, it was hot as balls. It was so moist, for lack of a better term. I ended up getting ringworm that I probably picked up from a minor cut at Jiu Jitsu like the week before I left, but because my wrist, where I, I had this little uh, abrasion stayed perpetually like moist with sweat and stuff it just it got bad came back from uh from florida with a ringworm on my wrist so i missed some more jujitsu when i got back i was really pissed not fun Drown with us in Louisiana. Maybe during the summer I gotta come down, or during the winter when it's cold up here. I wouldn't mind being in the south in the summer or the winter. I know what words I mean to come out of my head. They're just not coming out that way. <laughs> I came out with my girlfriend worked at Disney in the summer when she lived in Orlando, and it was just a horrible time. I can only imagine. And for the most part, I don't mind the heat. I think I do better with it than a lot of people do. I'd almost rather be hot than cold in a lot of ways. I'm in for a fun, uh, fun morning at the dojo, though, because we're doing outdoor classes as we come back from uh, COVID and stuff. And while I'm pretty resilient to the heat, my, you know, 50-year-old karate students that were in class this morning, the one, well, I think it would be a 40-year-old and a 50-year-old, Definitely, we're feeling it more than I was. Of course, it's easy to not feel it that much when you teach, and you can just not do the actual workout part when you don't feel like it. <laughs> Josh, Paul voice, one of my favorite words to make people uncomfortable. There definitely is a group of people that don't like that word. But, uh... 
but I think it describes the feeling exactly. <laughs> Can't wait talk. It's just hot in the winter. Summer's hot and humid. Yeah, it's the humidity, right? That's the worst. Next time we'll just bite the bullet and go in November or something. I went the time before that that I went to Orlando it was November for my honeymoon. It was perfect. It's like seventies. Not a lot of rides or lines and stuff. You get a rides pretty quick. It's like the off season and stuff. just comes at the cost of the school for the kid but it probably doesn't matter as much as I put stock into it <laughs> Jason I can always put cold over hot I can always put on more clothes but only legally talk out take off so much I don't know man it depends when I'm sleeping I'd rather be cold if I'm working out I'd rather be hot I pulled so many muscles from working out in colder temperatures than I probably should. school or school band went to Florida Disney and we marched in full uniform heavy as hell wool and we went we got backstage girl passed out we were all drenched in sweat sounds delightful already I love the heat take 100 degree over frigid winter look at move down south in a few years away from these New England winters that's the only thing that sucks about New England is the winter it's not that bad sometimes it's just some winters are just horrible and if any of you did watch that video we released on uh, Friday, you can see my driveway slopes pretty good. That's the worst trying to get out of there in the winter. You like basically need all wheel drive or four wheel drive in all our vehicles because in the middle of winter you just can't get out if that gets icy. Josh, same as Minnesota winters are for the birds. Isn't Minnesota like even worse in the winter? I feel like below zero is more common there than it is here in New Hampshire, at least Southern New Hampshire. <laughs> Jacob, I love cardio workouts and the heat. Everything else in the heat that I hate. Everybody's <laughs> come down to Florida for a wedding, and one of the groomsmen passed out mid ceremony, and the bride was sweating and hella mad. Mad that the groomsmen passed out, or mad that she was sweating? Justin, sorry, I know you answered this question a while back. What kind of sanding block are you using, and where can I get it? So, right now I'm using. These are 3M sanding sponges. I cut, these come in sheets. I bought them on uh, Amazon a while back. Um, so if they come in sheets like that, you can actually buy, um, buy them in like bulk. Those are 3M. You can probably get them at like a Home Depot or something too, I would guess. But I bought mine online. Um, and I am I'm switching between four different grits. The the uh, roughest is about 400, then 600,000 and 1500, and uh, that kind of works to get rid of the nubs first, and then gradually, uh, gradually work on smoothing out the surface there. All right, we got some skirts, side skirts. <laughs> she was hella mad in general. Did 
John just get a tow winch for the tip of the driveway. I might, man. I might anyway. I managed to get my truck stuck one time. All right, so I got legs. Let's get this in a standing pose of some sort here. Big ass wings. We've got a full, we'll get there. Already my wife's originally from Texas and we've gone down to visit her family in August. Man, the Texas heat in August is really something. Better probably would be. Like, hey, have you tried the God Hand Sanding Sponge? I have not. Um, I need to try the Tamiya that I've got. Um, I'll probably have some Mad Works in hand pretty soon. I want to try those out. We're talking, I think, I think it was Searchlight last time suggested that you can even get private, like, get the 3M ones with your own logo on them if you buy enough. I gotta look at different options because I think we might end up doing a Mecha Warehouse brand at some point. All right, on to accessories here. <laughs> wow, Gundam, I kind of forgot that this was eventually gonna be something. I'm not done yet, Nike. I gotta do the, the shield and the, the weapons, but that will be next. That, so the Buster Rifle will be next. So while I'm gonna cut that out, Mecca, uh, Nike, you try to pose the Buster Rifle. I will once I get it. Michael, yay, my power and Wi-Fi are back on. Well, welcome back, glad those are working again. Mr. J on his Tamiya brand better or God Hand? God Hand's probably a higher end brand, but I've never used them, so I don't know. We need I and G. This Buster Rifle. So I'm not sure which one's better. I've heard the Mad, Mad Works really good. Um, Meg, who's a sponsored builder, was telling me that that's the only standing sponge she'll use is the uh, Madworks ones now. For whatever that's worth. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of want to try them at some point just to see. Once I get my hands on some. And compare. But the 3M worked pretty well for me so far. Yeah, am I still on screen here? So yeah, while well, I'm cutting these out and getting out of this Buster Rifle, why don't we do another draw? So we're drawing for the ARC-78-2 Revive High Grade because the uh, GM Sniper was already won. And uh, let's do a number between one and 340. So throw a number between one and 340 in the chat and uh, in a moment I will do that, that next draw. Okay, I spent a few months in Missouri back in 2010 for some extended training in Fort Leonard Wood. It snowed so bad that in January that the whole base was shut down for two weeks being from Georgia. I loved it. Nice. Jeez. <laughs> and guys, seriously, dudes, like Nike, I'm not even good. If I pick one of your numbers, you just, you're not going to get it. You can only put one number in the chat. Don't make this hard for me. Don't try to cheat. Just one number. Like if you screw up like uh, Dennis just did and throw a bogus number in and replace it, that's fine. But... Don't post like 50 numbers in there. One number each. God. That was obvious. Yeah, just one number, not spam numbers until I call it.
Yeah, my poster no number number is in. Although you probably won't hear this before I put time in the chat. So, oh, you did good. Between one and three forty. Forty one. I got no no takers. Rinse and repeat. Okay. Let's get this rifle done. It's not my number, but you're getting closer. Random chance. Careful now, I'm getting to that phase where I just want to be done. I can see the end of the tunnel in sight. Does anyone else have that problem when you get towards the end of a build? I wonder if it being uh, Father's Day tomorrow had anything to do with the viewer count today because we didn't really go up compared to last week. But I wouldn't be surprised if some people have plans or something for the weekend because it being Father's Day weekend. Okay, I'll be more specific next time, Burdick. to finish up might be a good idea to take a little break yeah that's true if it wasn't for the fact that I'm running a stream right now I'd probably do that but then again I don't know that I build that much when I'm not live or chatting with people it's definitely a lot more pressure doing a live stream than when we do like the zooms and stuff where uh, I'm just part of the crowd but most of those zoom builds lately I just pack orders <laughs> I'm so busy that's probably what I'm doing tomorrow, too. Julie Roger, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Definitely happy Father's Day to the dads out here. Just to know what that feels, sir. For me, that's one I make mistakes. Yep. Josh should do weapons and meticulous parts first for that reason. Makes sense, Andrew. I'm gonna build block the waste frame and I'm done for the night. I think been starting at for the past 20 minutes. Yeah, like, well, I gotta go do rounds, so I'm out. Y'all have fun, enjoy the rest of your evening. See you later, Michael. Alfredo says, what sandpapers do you use? This is definitely, I should do a video on this maybe. Very commonly asked question. These are the 3M sanding sponges. 
Look how much sheets these ones are cut up. This one's the biggest of them. They use fine, super fine, ultra fine, and micro fine are the names for the grit levels, which correspond with uh, 400, 600, 1000, and 1500. Already, I gotta jump into zoom builds one of these days. You should. They're definitely a lot of fun. I know even when I'm not talking, I'm just kind of hanging out, being quiet in the background. Sometimes I find myself cracking up at some of the stuff that's going on. It's definitely a good, good way to spend an evening. Speaking of sponges, I think it's time to refresh my sponges. My goal, happy. Josh, all right, have a good night, all good, all, good night, all. Kids looking good, Nick, thank you, Josh. Michael Alba, happy Father's Day, fellas. Just asked my son which MG kit to build between Epion and Gunnar Zacco. He chose Epion since he loved Wing. By the way, he's also four. Nice. Is it Wing a little deep for a four-year-old? All that political intrigue and stuff. I was already trying to lot batch the horrors. Michael is obsessed with MS style, just like I was when I was a kid. Didn't realize the story once I watched it again this year. <laughs> That's probably most of us, right? We're, we're just in it for the mobile suits. Wait, there's a story? Something's happening besides just big robots fighting each other? Hey everyone. Spheres death site might have to take advantage of the sale. We've got so many of those death sites. That would be great if you did. It's actually a good time to mention if anybody's diving in for the first time tonight. Uh, we do have a grads and dads sale going on this weekend. I think it's grads and dads 15 is the code. But if you go to mechawarehouse.com, the uh, the code and the link to the uh, sale collection is up on the website, so that's uh, up at the top there. So it's worth checking out. Some select items are on sale, fifteen percent off. You could also use that code Live Ten if there's something instead on a uh, that's not in that collection that you want. Whether one code makes more sense than the other probably depends on what you order. If you've got a mixed lot, so you'll have to. Uh, look at that I suppose but definitely worth checking out if you're looking to keep that uh, backlog growing this would be crazy hi Nick hey Subi James P90 hey Nick how you been I've been pretty good today's been a little bit stressful for me just 
with the dojo back in the morning and all the stuff going on between the the sale and trying to get video raw video together for my video editor which didn't happen but I was trying to check lighting and angles for shooting either later tonight or tomorrow sometime I'm a little stressed out trying to keep up with everything other than that really good though how about you how are you doing James Wait, there's a, there's a talking Haro? Do I need to like make a voice box for uh, to put inside of a kit? New uh, product idea there. You know, I'm good. I see a crazy order that came in. It's a lot. Yeah, it is. Tell me about it. My garage is full. And I ended up placing another order that will get shipped on Monday from a distributor. And I think I got an email from Bluefin, or at least from FedEx, that there's a Bluefin order coming soon. So I got to put a dent in all that stuff, make some space. Really need to slow down my ordering a bit. I'm getting really good at spending money. Need to make sure I get just as good at uh, bringing stuff in. Thank you. What's the most expensive Gundam gunpla item you've encountered IRL? I mean, the uh, the Magnex set was pretty pricey. I think that was more expensive than uh, that. Then Drobium High Grade was another really pricey one that I've had here. Pretty sure those both blow away most perfect grades. So it'd be crazy. I want to grab a Google Home and shove it inside a Haro, but I think they're too small. Probably. I wonder how how big the electronics are inside the Google Home. They're probably tiny compared to the uh, the size of the housing there. I could be wrong, but it seems like the kind of product where the housing is mostly full of air. Has any of your neighbors asked about your massive deliveries? Not yet, uh, but I got some some empty boxes delivered on was it Monday? I think Monday or Tuesday, sometime this week. And the uh, the semi truck parked right in front of my neighbor's house, and the uh, the lift gate that they're supposed to have wasn't actually uh, they didn't come with a lift gate capable truck. So I had to back my uh, pickup truck up to the back of the uh, the truck to just make unloading easier. And the neighbors definitely like stepped outside, like, what the hell? You know, friendly wave. Hey guys, don't mind me. And my, you know, every other day semi truck that's showing up now. Much 
Do they ever do a big Zam set? I'm not sure. Do ask him if should reply that you're building a spaceship. I'm building a, uh, a Gundam with uh, bazookas for hands. Ignite, is that RG or MG? If you're talking about this kit I'm building here, this is a master grade. Alright. Main part of the rifle, and then we've got H1 and 2. Because let's do those H's first. Michael Washington, a spaceship, an army of toy soldiers. Knock going back. Welcome back, knock. Dennis, I'll show them an article that's being built in the kind of article that's being built in Japan. Yeah, that won't be concerning at all. Three H ones, three H twos. We're building a lot of these little canisters, looks like. <laughs> it's where they probably think he's one of them doomsday preppers. Oh, I'm prepping for Doomsday. If uh, if things lock down again, I'll have plenty of kits to sell. That's the most important thing to be prepped for. Making sure there are enough kits to go around and keep, uh, keep the world supplied. See, it'd be crazy to remember that show. I don't know if I ever really watched that show. I remember hearing about it. Drop's gonna dodge the moving gun as a weapon of war. Probably not. Definitely plenty of kids to sell and to build. I honestly need to check and see if my uh, business insurance policy needs to get up to cover all the inventory I have. I definitely have never been this well stocked. Pretty well, COVID second wave on its way. That's what I'm worried about. I want to make sure I'm covered. You did not knock. You got to be present to win. Mini Anji, good to see it standing up. Welcome. Mini Anji, what's going on, Ian? How are you doing this evening? Be crazy pretty soon. Mecca Warehouse is going to need a warehouse. That's what I think. I feel like I need one now. We're definitely doing things because of not being in a warehouse that. Anyway. Enough talk about Trump. Let's keep political stuff out of the chat here, guys. 
uh, RNA, do you think you saw an increase in business with all the people who were stuck at home? Nothing to do. Definitely, man. The uh, I'm assuming you guys have all seen it, but maybe you haven't. But we put out an ad. It was Friday the 13th in March, uh, which was like the same day that the schools were locked down here in New Hampshire. I put out a video on Facebook and everywhere else pretty much too. It was kind of a little like tongue in cheek ad telling people how to deal with the crisis and building up their backlogs rather than uh, wearing masks and stuff. If you didn't see that ad, it is that video is definitely on the channel. And that ad kind of boosted our business a lot, but I'm pretty sure all the other shops have also seen a huge uptick as well. Everybody got busy. The difference is we got our getting busy didn't shut us down and prevent us from being able to serve our customers as well because we went from really small to just small still within my capability instead of going from big to beyond big like if you get a warehouse you're gonna have with any bigger inventory definitely we will but i'll save a ton of time and be able to not pack things in like sardines i need to do a video on it but i basically have a an area in my attic where it's just boxes full of kits and it's you know three of this and five of that and stuff like that just to have a place to put things to keep them off the shelves and uh, and there is a lot of stuff there and it takes a lot of time shuffling those boxes around sorting things out finding kits to restock the shelves there's a lot of organization going on there that wouldn't be necessary if I just had full cases in places. Okay. I'm gonna pay for your 30 minute missions is awesome. Already I want so many 30 minute missions and I won't buy any of them. If I buy one, I want them all. Buy one, yes. And Mianji, Fawzi celebrations went late, but glad I made it here, not that not bad, then hang out for a long time with Dad. Did your cake make it onto the stream? It didn't. I actually ate it beforehand. I'm tempted to end the stream with the second piece of cake. Maybe when I'm getting close to the end here, I'll text the missus and instruct her to bring me a piece of cake. was like the first edit I ever saw from Echo Warehouse. I was like, what the hell, a Gunpla store ad? Yeah, that was definitely, that ad dramatically increased our business practically overnight. Like, yeah, we can keep track of inventory. We've got a few different systems. Right now we have a, keep spreadsheets for where all the backup stuff is. I'll need to get a better material handling organizational system as we grow, I think. But that, that works for the scale we're at now, and it's cheap and we've got a, an overall inventory system built into Shopify that handles all the overall inventory handling and ordering and forecasting and stuff Jake uh, I got my wisdom teeth out recently I was eyes a kite from my surgery and my order from you got to me I was yelling about how I was going to pilot the XA dark matter I got from you <laughs> that's awesome those videos where people play like pranks on people that are uh, coming down from their wisdom teeth uh, drugs and stuff. Those are hilarious. Speaking of hilarious, for the Office fans out there, someone did a deep fake. There's a bunch of clips from uh, from The Office with Arnold Schwarzenegger's face and voice kind of superimposed. Like they voice changed to, to the Arnold voice. Okay, I needed two K parts, K5 and 6. This is H. Where is K? Where's that K? 
Okay, that is K. K is blue. I spent way too much on gun plus lockdown. Just like, oh, I have the MG Buster and cart, but I guess someone bought it and sold out now. Yeah, we were down to one, I think, as of yesterday, last time I saw. So I wouldn't be surprised. I think I got some more coming at some point. If not, I need to order some more. It's always fun trying to stay on top of that stuff. Alfredo, same here. I spent over a thousand already and only started building gun plus about a month ago. That is, that is going all in if I have ever heard of going all in see the crazy took the part to Google home it's mostly three speakers I don't know how I felt the standard Haro is too small I think they have a bigger toy Haro let me do some research there's definitely the figure rise mechanics I want to say version that's bigger than the little tiny Haro's it's got a bunch of stuff and in inner frame though that you might have to gut if you're trying to put a uh, Google Home or something inside of it. A lot of those devices are usually have tons of empty space. Phones don't, obviously, because those are like the tiniest of tiny, but these days electronics are usually super small and the housing is bigger because if you made the thing as small as electronics, no one would be able to hold whatever the device was or it wouldn't make sense. You got real fancy, you could probably replace those speakers with tiny speakers to fit in your Haro housing. <laughs> oh no, yeah, my walls would get damaged on this lockdown. I just got into the hobby, but I dove in. Oh, I like the idea of some research to see if it fit. That'd be cool. I mean, at the very least, you probably could find a way to mount it like in a base or something for the Haro and maybe route the uh, the mic and speaker into the Haro itself Roger Haro Master Race. Dennis Lau, thanks for restocking on the Sazabi, by the way. Just ordered. Thank you for the order, Dennis. Pathologically cute. I built the PG Xia yet. I haven't, but the thing looks amazing. I haven't built any Xias yet or any perfect grades. <laughs> Too crazy to save the great Haro. Looks like I'll be having you throw in a horror ball with the Charizard too. Oh, I'm about to pick one up. 
let's see how far I can hollow out. Nice. If you follow through on that, I'd love to see how that turns out. That'd be pretty cool. You have a Haro on your desk to talk to. You need to find a way to somehow program with a Haro voice into a Google Home or whatever. Okay, Kibble's I'm out for the night. Gotta go visit my dad tomorrow. Nice meeting a lot of you. Thanks, Nick, for your entertaining conversation. Thank you for hanging out. Kibbles, appreciate it. Hopefully see you next week. We'll be doing this every week for this foreseeable future. Some different prize next time. And uh Yeah. Should be good times. Love doing this. Paul, I'll see you cats next weekend. Oh, I intend to give it a shot. That'd be cool, man. Oh, man, I'm missing stuff. Jelly Roger, if, uh, if Haro were running Xeon, they would have won the one here war, just saying. James P90, what your, what your next kit you're gonna build next in your live stream? I'm not sure. That is a good question. I'm out of wing kits after this one, of Gundam Wing uh, Master Grades. The most likely thing is to double back onto some of the decal work that I'm behind on. So I might do a stream or two where I work on water slides for say the Death Scythe Hell that I built recently. Um, that'll depend on me being able to find time to top coat it of course. But I think that'd be good and potentially uh, informational for people. If you've never done water slides before, that'd be a good chance to show off how to do it and, uh, and stuff. Um, call it Cody. You're going to do Master Grade Barbatos when the expansion set is released. I'm not sure. I've got a Barbatos in the backlog. I'm not sure if I care enough about the uh, expansion set. I'm not, I haven't watched IBO yet, so I don't really have any connection to it. I think the Barbatos looks like a cool suit and the uh, Master Grade is definitely a nice looking kit. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. <sighs> it just seems like one of those kits that like everybody kind of needs to build maybe. Mind you guys too, so it's 11. I think the uh, the Live 10 code actually goes until 11.30 tonight. If anybody is still interested in using that and the uh, the grads and dads code is good until midnight tomorrow so if you don't order tonight check out tomorrow um, good opportunity to get a to get a uh, one of those kits that's on sale there's a lot of good options on there Where if the camp was mass produced, the yeah, I would have won the war. That might be true. There's so many what ifs in the UC. Jacob, yes, please. I have such an issue with water slides. I feel like I go over most of the time when I mess with them. Yeah, so that might be what I do because I I need to clean up. I got a lot of in progress projects that I need to get some off. I've got a Leo that's halfway to being painted, but I've been so busy lately, I haven't gotten anywhere close to painting. There we go. Oh, that's what that connects to. So everybody's complaining about this not being able to hold this rifle, but I bet this thing's gonna hold it. Of course, the shoulder won't stay together. I bet it will hold the rifle. And I think the trick here is 
is in that little nub on the back of this arm thing. off so there's like there's definitely a piece that clips in there this goes in there he grabs it so for anyone who thinks that this kit can't hold the rifle I think that counts as holding the rifle right I don't know if that will last for any length of time But it's definitely holding it up there. He's back. Drop the Otak with the Hobby Lobby. Dennis, like what? Only 30 minutes more to shop. 30 more minutes if you want to use that Live 10 code. There's, of course, other 10% codes out there. They're not super hard to find. The 15% uh, code on the select items for the grads and dads is good all weekend. So, i.e. for another 25 hours or so. And uh, what else? What else is still out there and available? Let's do the shield next. Um, yeah. So you got all the time in the world of shops. Whether you want to use that 10% code or the 15% code or all that stuff. Has. I'm embarrassed. I never noticed that Notch was trying to get hold of the bust rifle on mine. Yes, yeah, so there's a little on the back of this blue piece right here. There's a little little notch that will fit up into the the sleeve, if you will, of the the under the bicep there. I won't pretend that it's the most solid thing in the world, but it it's not bad. It looks a little bit silly with it that low, but. I'm probably gonna end up mounting this a different way, I think. We will see. So H3. There's a notch yet, it's a little, uh... I'm afraid to undo this now. So if you look on this blue part, This little piece right here fits up into the bicep there. So I clip that up and in. You might even be able to extend the arm more. I'm not totally sure. And then I can grip the, uh, the rifle. And it gives it something to hold onto it. So I can definitely hold it at that like lower angle. I was tempted to say screw it and use cement putty. I don't think that's necessary. A lot of these kids with big rifles have some sort of thing like that to try to hold it. Not all of them, but some of them do. So J. Two and three. <laughs> I cut those out in like the first day of this build apparently. Okay, I got those. E35 and D13. E. Crazy damn it, never noticed that. Yeah, a lot of people don't. It's the same thing with the uh, the Wing Zero, the Bird Wing one. The, uh, it's got a clip on the back of the rifle that actually will hook into the, uh, the chest structure.
see if we just purchase the horror from you. It should be a fun little project. It's awesome, man. Definitely let me know how that one goes. I'm thinking about trying some like custom LED work at some point. I almost want to try building an LED controller, but I don't know if I want to do that much engineering work or if I've got the time to. I need to like somehow create some more building time. It's been rather sparse the last few weeks. It's been so busy with the business. Too. It's a fun little distraction. Yeah, they're cute little kits. Sometimes those short, easy builds are fun too, just because they're they're less involved. There's less layers of steps to be done. You can just kind of make the little thing go well. I feel the same way about engineering projects for work. Sometimes those small, little like throwaway projects are the most fun because you could think about the entire thing much more easily and not be caught up in the convolution of multiple layers and stuff. That was logically cute. Found a place selling the IO frame sheet end for a fair price. Shop based in Netherlands and shipping is surprisingly good. It's interesting. Sometimes the international shipping will kill you. What's the delivery time on it though? Super crazy. I can't wait for the extreme boost. That looks fun. I'm not sure which. Apparently about keeping up with enough stuff. Don't know what that is either. done actually you know what things are getting quiet again let's do another bill another uh, draw so we're still drawing for the rx 78 to revive the uh, hg and this time we'll draw and i'm going to be very specific this time since people are giving me crap a number between 100 or sorry between 1 and 330 inclusive so pick any number one as the lowest number 330 is the highest number Put that number in chat. Only pick one number, since some people didn't get that before, apparently. So I guess my bad for not clarifying that. But put one number in chat, and uh, I'll give you a chance to win one of those. Seems like everybody's losing steam. It's a little, a little late. I think I'm going to finish the shield. I'm not sure if I'm going to worry about these uh, like arm canister things. I'm not even sure if I like them, let alone if I want to really put them on this build. But I'm pretty, pretty close if that's the case.
<laughs> I think probably put the zero in quotes as a reference to wing zero. Could be. Could be. No, no one this time. <laughs> I didn't know he did. That's my roommate. And he had a big silly grin on his face after he put him there. It's funny. Does anyone know anyone built this kit and know if you can put the uh, the shield and the rifle in the same arm? It's actually cute. Turns out they don't deliver to the U.S. Well, that could be why the shipping was so cheap then. Maybe it was just the local shipping charge. They'll probably come around. The problem is when you look for those rare ones, sometimes they'll pop back up again. So you always take that risk when you buy it at an inflated price because it hasn't been printed in a while and then they reprint that it could show up for a much more reasonable price. Trying to decide if I want to start the well, the rebake right now or not. I barely want to keep going at this point. I'm I'm like fried. I need to move on. Well, there's a good chance I might end up actually filming a video after this, so we'll see. Let's see where I get. I don't want to guess no I want a rifle and shield on one arm yeah I mean it could be like I feel like that was like a thing in the show wasn't it but maybe that was a different variation or something that would just be really tough to do with the kit we'll see see if I won't believe the rifle blocks a shield from completely coming on that's a bummer in your comments, has anyone won it yet? I had to leave for a moment. No one won the ARC-78. The uh, GM Sniper got one in like, the second draw. And we obviously didn't hit 100, so it's going to be the high grade. I'm wondering if the viewer count not growing at the normal rates because of the uh, Father's Day weekend. I think a few people jumped in kind of late because they were... Maybe busy with Father's Day related activities this evening, so could be an indicator that some people are just busy. Josh, so I'm scared of the trying for a PG Castle's gun. I don't want to drop 600 or something. I'd like to believe we'll come back. Yep, that's the fun part. Don't parry Nick Lee by chance had the HGBF crossbone full cloth back in stock soon. I don't know. I don't think I've seen that recently at distributors, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. They could show up any moment. But uh 
I don't believe I have any on order right now. So your guess is kind of as good as mine, I think. Okay, so... We're gonna put some brown panel liner on here. the MG wing coming along good so far you can come back on and frame here a little bit more the, basically the suit itself has been completed I'm working on the shield right now it's probably where I'll end it could do those uh, like ammo racks or whatever they are I'm not sure if I even like them or not so I'll I might do them, but they might just be spare parts. I'm not sure. So probably almost done for the night. that that goes down in there and this Oh no, it will go on there, I think. Will it? Maybe. We shall see. I think I know how to make that go on there. And your comments you mentioned before, you have P Band I Talgies 2 coming in. I have the RG P Band I Talgies 2 coming in, but that's a personal purchase, not for the shop. I don't have any P Band I coming in, coming in for the shop. I don't have any plans to carry P Bandai going forward now that P Bandai USA exists because I basically have to charge you a lot more than they charge because I get it from the same place. And uh, the net result is essentially gouging. The There's definitely a value trade off there, and it would be valuable to customers, I think, to buy them and hold on to them so people who couldn't get them now could get them later. But um, that requires space to store kits for them to become at a worthwhile price, basically, or for that price to be worthwhile. And I don't want to hold on to kits for a couple of years if I don't have to. As the energy canister racks are a bit bulky and take away from the kit. That's kind of my, my feeling. I think I'll ignore them for now. Maybe I'll build them later just to see how they look, but that probably won't be part of the stream. I think this is the last stream for this kit for the time being. Not sure what I'm building next week. Might be doing water slides. Might be working on something else, but I kind of want to try to knock off things off my to-do list rather than uh, start a brand new kit again.
Andrew Cummins, I mean to ask, what is exactly the difference between Master Grade, RE100, and the full mechanics? So Master Grade has higher level of detail. Um, higher level of detail, more parts, more complexity, more gimmicks usually, I think. RE100 is kind of like between a Master Grade and a High Grade, but scaled up. I think they tend to have a little more detail than High Grades, depending on the kit, but they... Uh, they are definitely not as complex as a master grade. And I think full mechanics are very similar. They're just maybe a little bit different. I've never built a full mechanics or RE100 for that matter, but I've seen a lot more RE100 reviews than full mechanics reviews at this point. So Jay Hound, hey Nick, have you ever built one of those old 144th skill kits? I've got a James Gunn, a Javelin coming that I had to scare eBay for. I kind of want to know what to expect. I have not, I have not built the oldest ones I've kit I've built, I think, might have been uh, like the high grade Zaku, the original one. I don't know if I've ventured any further back than that. Taz 101, the way I might have played as a sword and board with the rifle canister on the ground. That's one way of doing it. Let's see what I feel like doing. Let's see if I can get the shield to work with the gun. I'd like to have him hold the beam saber, I think. One pair of P-Band at USI has a monopoly. I've got a buddy in California sells kits to say how much you would have to mark up a P-Band to make profit. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Um, it does in the long term. If I buy a kit to sell when the kit's no longer available, then you're providing a value to both the customer and yourself. But until they've been off market a while and everybody who was smart enough to get them, like, you need the market to kind of return after they've be, become available. Which is great if you maybe want to run a side business and you want to spend a few hundred bucks and buy a dozen of one of those new P Bandai kits and stick them in a safe place as like an investment and then you sell them down the road. I think that could be smart. But you're probably holding on to that kit for six months to a year after you get it. Maybe longer, depending on how many you get and how you're selling them. And so I'm like, almost want to do it, but if I did it, it would be... Um... I don't know, any more space and just free capital. I'd rather buy kits I can turn over inside of a few months than buy kits that I'm planning on turning over in a year or more. Do you seem smarter? Cody Ratliff, full mechanics or IBO only so far. Ari has a few good kits. The Zaku TFC is an awesome sauce. Michael Rogers holds the built around the 1997 release HG100 Epion, a Death Hell, as well as the 1997 HG144 Gemini S1. Oh, excuse me. You know what? I think I might pack a few orders and maybe if I film in the morning, I am way too tired. I don't think I want to try filming doing anything really brain intensive right now. step and then two more
list is D sixteen. Michael Rogers, well, good night. All I've been up since 9 p.m. last night, and I'm spent. Great stream. Ciao. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you uh, hanging out for a little while. Get some sleep, man. If you've been up for more than 24 hours, it's crazy. I've only been up since like 8 this morning, and I'm, I'm dying. I think tomorrow I don't have anything in the morning, so I'm going to have no alarm. And I'm going to actually get to sleep in. And then probably spend a good part of tomorrow packing orders to catch up from the sale. Okay, let's whip this off. In Ibido, I dig those sanding pads you're using. They work out well. There's definitely some other options. It's not the only brand or anything, but they work well. I like them. I recommend them. Do you have a source for more Mr. Mark? I do have a source, they just are not in stock, I think. Like kits, that stuff gets imported, you know, in, in bunches. So when it sells out, you gotta wait for the next shipment to come in. And in most cases, it's literally a ship when they say shipment. So it, you know, it takes a month or more for the stuff to get from Japan. which is, I think, why we go into these um, unavailable modes of time. But definitely when I see it again, I'll be buying it, and I'll probably be buying a lot more than I have in the past. Because that is a very much, very commonly asked for product. One that I wish I had in stock right now. Faux show. Okay. Okay, this is one. Two, put these little white patches in there. A pretty cool looking shield. intended for something else okay let's see there's like two more parts to do in here but I'm curious now
get that off without breaking it. So I feel like if I look at the inside of this, there's a little spot that looks like it would fit onto that clip back there. And I feel like this whole shield would sit on there like that. I just don't know if this other... That might be part of the bird mode, maybe. How does this go together for the bird mode? That's how it's supposed to be for the bird mode. Maybe that's what that, those pieces are for. To me, it looks almost like it would fit. But I shouldn't mess with it because I'm going to break something. I just missed a whole bunch of stuff here. What happened? Let's see. Probably need a couple of jars to keep my eyes on Discord for restocks. Thanks, Nick. Yep, I'll definitely let you guys know. It won't work. I just saw the breakdown. The board is big. Maybe a Raspberry Pi Mini and some programming with a speaker. Maybe. Dennis, let it go. Another great night, guys. Thanks again. Thank you, Dennis. See you later. Hopefully you're still able to see that. Pathologically cute sucks doubly, so because today was supposed to be the third day back from a furlough. If you know any plans on making Velcro patches your logo, I need one for my EDC bag. Some sort of patch will probably be in the works at some point. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I could use one for my backpack too. Might as well go all out at this point. Still a couple of gyros so it spins. Maybe an Arduino board. Oh, I kind of hate Arduino. The notch on the barrel to hold the gun to the shield. So I think there is the hold it backwards. But, like, it's supposed to go on this way for bird mode. It fits into that little notch there up front. But it does look like if I could get that blue piece off without breaking anything, I would totally try it because there's these little nubs that look like they fit into that piece that's on the back of the rifle. And I feel like there's just enough space that this whole thing would park just in here somewhere. It would be pretty cool. But if I were going to do some custom work, maybe that would be worth it. Right now, probably not. I want to break something, so I'll have to look at that when I'm more rested. So I got two more parts here. I should finish this up. Probably do one more quick draw here in a minute. Actually, why don't we do it now while I'm getting these last couple parts? So we'll be in a position to call this a night soon. So, Mr. Nick, what's your favorite weapon set from Kotobukiya? I don't have one. I haven't used any of those yet. So 320. So. Number one to 320 in the chat, one number each. I'll draw one more time for the high grade RX-78-2 revive and see if, uh, see if that happens tonight. 34 and 36. Definitely give you guys who've stuck around to the end that extra chance well, I'm going to secretly hope nobody wins just because <laughs> I don't know if I can afford to give away kits every multiple kits every week well I probably can I don't know it's all worth it in the end. If all it costs me is a couple high grades every week to get the enjoyment I get out of this, then that's worth it. And I think the uh, added marketing value is worth it too.
keep in mind we'll be doing this again next week we started at 8 30 if you joined in from some other place and haven't done this before if this is your first time I have a different pair of kits to try for next week if you haven't seen any of the videos that went up this week i would check them out especially that video with all the stuff that came in late last week i think that one's super interesting based on the uh reaction and form of comments and stuff i think a lot of a lot of you guys out there thought so too the uh you know, if you don't mean I'm eventually going to buy something, oh, well, I promise. I mean, you don't even need to. I don't care. That's If you want to, that's great. I really appreciate it if you do. It's the best way to support me if you are if you get enjoyment from this. I want to support a small business. That's really cool. But I don't expect anybody to. But if you do, I think that Live 10 code is now no longer alive at this point but the uh, the weekend sale is so if you check the website out today or tomorrow it should be good till midnight Eastern tomorrow How does this connect to the arm? Just say. He still doesn't want to stay on. Oh yeah, so I should draw that thing. <laughs> Content is what we crave along with things in dead sales. That's true. 317. Actually, I should put time in real quick before you guys see that. Make sure that's in there. Okay, time. 317 is the winner this time. If we have a winner oh we do have a winner damn okay Julius Julius Serrano wins the high grade RX 78 2 so we gave away two kits tonight so uh, John we already told you to uh, send me a DM with your info Julie uh, Julius you can also Send me a note, DM me, send me an email, nick at mechawarehouse.com, however you want to get in touch with me, and uh, we'll get your info to send you that kit, that RX 782 Revive High Grade. So give it away too. Damn. The only problem with this this way is I really want to be able to extend that arm more. But I guess that is not possible with the, uh, the arm connection here. So maybe I think that's that's basically it. I've built Julia Serrano. Well, I'll DM you on Discord. Great, that'd be perfect. Super easy. <laughs> Does I wonder why that right shoulder keeps telling, giving you issues? Tell it to behave. Behave. Cool. So that's I think it for building. I'm gonna build these uh, beam saber handles and uh, some of these other things sometime in my own time I think because they're not really worthy of their own stream and we're pretty much done here I do want to do one final draw though for you guys who've held out to the very end and this one's going to be for a Mecca Warehouse t-shirt so 
let's do between one and 250. Being really generous today, I think. So last one, throw a number between one and 250 in the chat. And this will be well, clean enough here. This will be the very last draw of the, the evening. A little bonus round for you guys to thank you guys who stuck it out. So you guys have been showing up a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys how much I appreciate your attendance, if you will. Keeping, giving me uh, some company while I'm here. Hope everybody enjoyed the stream tonight. Give us another quick moment before I draw. What did I say between one and 300, I think? Or is it one and 250? Same time. We'll make it even more interesting. What's the largest number that someone threw up? 235, 245. Okay, 245 is the biggest number. So I'm gonna make it 245. <laughs> I enjoyed that when I had this current song stuck in my head for a while. I'm gonna lie, I feel like you lose so much money giving away kits. I don't know, man, I don't think I do. So the number I drew is 14. Am I like out of focus up here? What the hell? I need better lighting. Can I even see this? 14, there we go. So anyone pick 14? Probably not. 14 is like a lucky number for me too. No, so no t-shirt today, but we tried. But I do really appreciate all you guys hanging out. And despite what Jolly Roger thinks, uh, he says, not going to lie, I feel like you lose so much money giving away kits. I don't think so. I think uh, I'm making money by giving away kits because you guys are super supportive. A lot of you guys spend money during these streams or otherwise. And so if you really want to support me, I would really appreciate it. God, this camera's like, I'm wicked out of focus. I swear, I swear in real life I'm not out of focus. Um, but I really appreciate it. So if you want to support me, take advantage of those sales or, you know, make sure you keep an eye on the site and uh, if you purchase something, that would be awesome. If not, that's cool too. Um, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out. All the fun. Uh, hopefully see you guys next week. We'll be giving away some more kits. Hopefully maybe we'll actually get closer to 100 next time. And uh, yeah. Have a great week, guys.